What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be starting a motorized scooter build. So let me show you what I just picked up. I just picked up this thing yesterday, so let me roll it out in the driveway and show you what it's all about. So this is it guys. Like I said, I literally just picked it up yesterday, so I mean, it's not too much right now, but um, this thing definitely has potential. I picked it up for a decent price and all the guy said was wrong with it was the carburetor's bad. Um, as you can see, he had it zip tied just to it right here. And it looks like the pull starter is a little bit loose, but he did pull it over a couple times and to show me that it did have compression. But we're actually gonna be swapping this out for a still 110cc cement saw engine. Um, but I am gonna be getting it running like this first just to see what it's got and um, See how fast it is with the I think it's a 43 cc engine disc brakes huge platform for your feet to sit and Overall just a big scooter. I mean, it's definitely decent size as you guys saw uh, It folds down as well, and I think I'm actually looking to do kind of a micro scooter build. So I'm gonna make it basically so it's always a sitting scooter. Um, it looks like you can adjust this right here to level down. So that'll be perfect. It'll cut me from having to actually cut this whole bar apart. And then, yeah, I just have to throw a seat post in here with a seat of my choice and I should be good to go. It is actually missing, this is a Moto Vox, I think they call it. Uh, gas scooter and it's just missing some plastics right here, but no big deal at all for now anyways But yeah, you can see the gas tank is all in one here But we are going to be going ahead and swapping this out um, I would never just swap it out right away. I really want to see what it's got like this It's got a key slot too and I'll show you on the still engine that this will be perfect because the still engine also requires a key so I think that this will be a good fit. It'd be sweet to get some wider wheels on here too. You can see a giant spacer right here. It seems kind of like a waste. And I mean, this thing is beefy. It's got um, front suspension right here and I think it deserves some bigger wheels on it. So front and back, I'd like to see some bigger wheels. When he showed me that carburetor was bad, I thought back to my toolbox and I think I have it right here. I think I ended up picking this carburetor up for the 47cc build. For some reason, I thought that this was a really good performance carburetor. I think the listing kind of goofed me, but that was a couple years ago now. So yeah, this thing might finally get to go to use. Let's see if they kind of match up. All right, so here's the carburetor I have. It's literally brand new. And as you can see, let me flip it around. I think it's actually an exact replica, which is Awesome. Um, I just noticed this that the intake is kind of screwed up. It's uh, one of the bolt uh, on the mount here is ripped off. But I'm gonna check if I if the intake came with this carburetor. It might be in the box actually. And yeah, like I said, he did pull it over and it has compression and everything. Um, so we should be in luck. Nice kickstand right here too. Uh, this thing is sweet. This is my first motorized gas scooter.
So there it is guys, not great, but I did get it running and I rode it down the street a few times. Um, it doesn't seem like it wants to idle really good. I don't think it's getting fuel the best right now. Um, it could be my intake setup. I actually didn't use any gaskets um, on anything yet just because I knew I could get it running without that, but it looks like my engine mount screws are coming loose as well. So I just have to tidy up some stuff no gasket on the exhaust yet, but like I said, I just wanted to get it running. So this is the engine that I'm gonna be putting into the scooter. It is a 110cc still cement saw engine that was previously in the world famous Pokemon pocket bike. And actually, I was thinking it'd be nice to put the scooter engine into the Pokemon bike um, it's 43 cc so that way I can just sell it like that uh, with an engine in it that might work out pretty good it's got a similar style with the gas tank on the side but uh, we'll see what happens with that Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up episode 1 of the brand new motorized scooter build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Next, I'm probably going to be starting to rip out that engine and see what I have to do to make the 110cc work in there. Um, there's probably going to be some modifying that needs to be done because that one's definitely bigger, but this just is not enough power right now. I was actually expecting more out of it, but I'm glad I got it running anyways. And it actually starts now without the starter fluid, so that's always good. And yeah, I'll probably end up using this engine, like I mentioned, for something anyway, but I'm excited for this scooter. It's definitely got a lot of potential, but that's gonna do it for episode one. So I hope you guys can give this video a thumbs up for me and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.